I have already had such a busy day today. Benson had his swim lesson. Well, it was a makeup lesson because normally he has his swim lessons on Saturdays, but he had his makeup lesson today, which is Tuesday. So he has two lessons this week. Whoops, two. Um, which is great because I want him to be ready to swim for Thailand. So the more swimming, the more practice, the better. But the real reason that I am vlogging today is because I'm going to decorate for Halloween because the mantle is done. Well, it is almost done. It's not quite there yet, but it's just a few finishing touches. Are you guys ready to see it? I'm so excited. I love it. Okay, here it is. Dun, da, da, dun. I'm so happy with how it turned out. It looks great. I love this glass towel we chose and it kind of goes with our kitchen tile, the backsplash. It's not the same blue hue color, but it still is glass tile. So I love that. And then my, um, we didn't get to the built-in yet. That's just another project. The mantle took, I don't know, four or five days. So it was not a quick project but my dad killed it as always it's exciting because i can decorate now and it's october 2nd so i was planning on decorating october 1st but it was 90 degrees out yesterday and it did not feel like halloween to me and so i was just like i'm gonna wait to um decorate let me help my husband in the house here he's bringing in some of the decorations right now like the great husband that he is <laughs> Um, so yeah, I'm gonna be decorating because it is overcast outside. I love decorating the house when it's overcast and there's just just that fall feeling weather and You guys will get to see my decorating rituals because Halloween is my jam. It's my favorite holiday of all time Christmas comes in a close second because that's always fun, but it's a little more stressful than Halloween so Halloween just fun all around just a great time so I bought a couple more um, decorations at Target. So let me see if I can show you guys. I have them all in the guest room right now, all the new stuff that I bought. So I got these cute little light up pumpkins, which are adorable. Actually, I think that is all I got were those pumpkins. I wanted to get more stuff, but they were, they had things on display and I was like, oh, I want that, I want that, I want that. But then they didn't have them in stock. So I don't know. It's kind of crazy that it's already um left him in again because he's <laughs> i gotta show you guys <laughs> oh my gosh and you guys are seeing our wreck of a backyard right now <laughs> that is so funny it's the only efficient way to get everything you're like ready for halloween honey <laughs> funny luna what's daddy have on his neck <laughs> She's all weirded out. I'm just gonna be doing like a time lapse so you guys can see um, how I decorate and what I'm doing. So first and foremost, what I have to do is just set the mood. So I'm gonna light some candles. I'm gonna turn on a scary movie. I always, every year, this is what I do. I turn on a scary movie. And we just got Hulu. We finally canceled our cable because cable's ridiculously expensive and we were spending like so much money um, on cable bill and so we just got Hulu and Hulu just came out yesterday with call it's called Huluween so cute and I was looking and they have so many awesome Halloween movies Ugh, can't wait so right now I'm gonna be lighting my vanilla pumpkin scented candle from Trader Joe's this thing smells so good I haven't lit it yet but I lit the apple one that I bought and that one smells amazing so I am trying to figure out what I'm going to be watching on Huluween. Let's try to choose a movie together. Ooh, guys, there's so many. There's too many to choose from. The House is October built too. Mm. Ooh, I love Night of the Living Dead. Okay, Night of the Living Dead it is. This is going to set the tone for the whole day. As that movie is getting ready, there's an advertisement starting. I'm going to put out my Halloween wreath. And so I have to take off my leaf wreath that I already have on the door. So I'm going to go do that right now. 
and I love that leaf wreath by the way you guys um, it has fluffed up since it's been outside on my door look at how pretty it looks now it's like I don't know it feels like it's in its element since it's outside <laughs> it honestly looks so much better than it did in the store because they were all flattened out because they come in a box just all flat on top of each other and it, now it's just like beautiful so I'm loving it here I go I'm gonna hang it Oh, perfect. So I got some more pumpkins and I put the cinnamon broom out as you guys can see and it's awesome because everyone that walks up to the door is like, oh my gosh, it smells so good. <laughs> so here's the completed look. I just have to make it more Halloween-y now because it's pretty fall. Once I get all my Halloween stuff out, I can probably add some stuff out here too, which is so fun. I'm so excited. You guys don't even know. This is like my favorite and decorating is always so much fun for me. Okay, so I'm gonna set up my camera and I'm gonna share with you guys my decorating stuff. So here we go. They're coming to get you, Barbara. Stop it, you're ignorant. They're coming for you, Barbara. Stop it, you're acting like a child. Look, they're coming for you. Look, there comes one of them now. did most of everything I still am gonna decorate a little bit upstairs in Benson's playroom because he loves Halloween too so um, and he's up now he's eating say hi babe say hi and don't worry I changed the movie to Halloween town <laughs> he's not watching anything like gory or scary anything like that so all right guys I'm gonna show you the finished product and of course just bear with me with the built-in. I did what I could with it, but obviously it's just one shelf and I hid I hid the boxes underneath, which are out in the open, but I will put those away in a bit. So here it is. Here's the mantle. So I'm actually going to be adding um, some mesh, like this, I'll show you what I used in the other room, but I'm gonna be putting that underneath this um, but my dad is coming over tomorrow to fill in everything so I have to take it all off anyway so um, you guys get the gist though of what it's gonna look like and then I have this guy that I've had for I don't know maybe three years now I got him at home goods Benson loves the little pumpkin he holds and he always tries to take it off <laughs> and then on the shelf I did the little pumpkin and this little guy lights up but um, Tim said he needs to get like a, I don't know, an adapter or something like that too, because all, all of the plugs are being used. So that is that area. And then in the kitchen, I did this cute little centerpiece thing in the island. I just need to put, I have um, orange pumpkin candle, tea light candles that go in here. I need to grab those. And then in the background, you can see there's a little pumpkin jack-o'-lantern and a bat hanging and a little 
skull that's sparkly. And then I have this little guy that I will probably put something in, I'm not sure yet. And then on my windowsill here, I just have the little sugar skull that I got at Trader Joe's and then a little um, witch boots. And then I have a little pumpkin candy jar that you can put stuff in, there's nothing in it. And I even decorated Benson's kitchen. I gave him a little purple skull on his windowsill and then he got this little dog that I got two years ago from Victoria's Secret. <laughs> Okay, now I'm gonna be going into our dining room. Again, this room is not even done at all. This is like the barest room that we have because we need a new table, but I am making do with what we have. So Tim and I bought this table when we first moved in together and that has been, oh gosh. We've had this table for probably like seven years now. It has done us well, that is for sure. So I just put a tablecloth over it and then added some fun little, um, whatever you call it, I guess like flowery fake stuff to put into our vase that we had made when we got engaged in Hawaii. And then over here, this is the entryway. So we have the little pumpkins. So when you walk in, you'll see these two little guys. They're so cute. And I decorated my little pedestal with a plant. And then over here on the coffee table, I have this, and this is so fun, it lights up. Lights up. And I have a little runner on there, and this is the, um, what is this stuff called? I can't think of it, but this is what I'm gonna be putting on the mantle too. And then I have my little eyeballs in here. <laughs> and then, Right off the entryway is like a little hallway and I decorated with a couple things here. And I love, 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 love this snow globe. This is like one of my favorite things that I bought. It's just so cute. It says Happy Halloween. And then we have our Halloween countdown. So it's 29 days till Halloween. And then these pumpkins here I keep for fall too. So they're very versatile. So in the guest bathroom, I did a little bit of decorating. You guys can see pumpkins. I did the, the Halloween soap. And then up here, I have two little um, snow mini snow globes with uh, Frankenstein's monster and a skeleton. So that is the grand tour of my Halloween decorating. I'm sure I will be adding little things here and there. So if you guys notice different things in either my Trader Joe's hauls or in any vlogs, go ahead and shout it out. I like when you notice stuff. <laughs> right now we're getting ready to head over to my mother-in-law's husband. So was that like the stepfather-in-law? I don't know. Father-in-law's house. He just had surgery this morning, so um, we just want to go surprise them. So they're probably seeing us now and laughing because we're gonna surprise them. They don't know, and I'm gonna make them a little goodie bag um, of a lot of the Trader Joe's things that I've hauled. And I've said this in previous hauls and vlogs that I like to give away a lot of this stuff because we can't possibly eat everything that we buy. So it's nice to give things to people that appreciate it. So I'm gonna make that little goodie bag and do you guys wanna see what I'm gonna give them? All right, I will show you because I'm sure most of you are like, yes, anything with Trader Joe's, show us. Okay, so I have everything laid out that I'm gonna be putting in here. It is a lot of sweets, but I don't really eat any of this stuff. So I'm doing the hot cocoa O's. I'm gonna put in the pumpkin Jojo's. See, this is proof that I don't really open any of this stuff. And you guys always want me to try this stuff. It's way too much sugar. I cannot try all of this, possibly. I open a lot, but not, no. Oh, sorry, pumpkin, pumpkin top Pop-Tarts. <laughs> and the pumpkin biscotti. Mm -mm -mm. Caramel apple flavored granola. Birthday cake popcorn. Candy corn popcorn. I gotta make this cuter, hold on. Benson, you sit up here with mama. I'm gonna bring this French apple tart over there so they can have something to enjoy. So that's what I'm taking over there, so I hope they appreciate it. 
and like it and enjoy it. It's always no fun recovering from a surgery, so I know when I am laying up in bed, it's nice to get a little gift bag of some goodies. Are you ready to go? We're gonna head out. So we're about to head out the door and I think I'm just gonna close out the vlog now because I don't wanna vlog when we get to um, my mother and father-in-law's father, father -in -law's house. So I appreciate you guys so much for watching this. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you have not yet. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Bye.